All right, in this equation, we're asked to solve by factoring. Now, the factoring is a little more complicated that, given that we have a number for the a term. We have a coefficient other than 1. So this technique of factoring is called the AC method, where I take the a number times the c number, in this case 4 times 5, to get 20. Then I'm looking for what factors of 20 add up to the b term, negative 21 turns out negative 20 and negative 1 do. When we add these together we get negative 21. When we multiply them we get our original number 20. This sets up the next step x minus 20, x minus 1. This is just a setup to arriving at the final factorization. I now have to account for this a term. I'm going to bring it down and divide each of these numbers by it. If it divides evenly, great. In this case, 20 over 4 becomes x minus 5, and that term is done. Over here, 1 does not divide evenly by 4, so I'm simply going to move that up to the front of that term, 4x minus 1. And that's how we successfully factor using the AC method. But keep in mind this was an equation, still equal to 0, so I have to solve this by setting each of these terms equal to 0. x minus 5 equal to 0, 4x minus 1 equal to 0. On this side, all I have to do is add 5 to both sides and x equals 5. That's one of my two answers. Here, I'm going to add 1 to both sides, and then I have 4x equals 1, and then I divide both sides by 4, and x equals 1 fourth. So my two solutions are x equals 5 and x equals 1 fourth.